Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I'm going to open up this old school repack booster. Look at it shine. It's so shiny. Um, a little backstory. I picked this up at DadBotCon. I was at D DadBotCon 2, which is an old school magic tournament held in Utrecht, the Netherlands, organized by David. And it was really cool. There were just a lot of cool things going on besides just the magic. And one of those cool things was that they offered these old school repack booster packs um, to the contenders. So you could buy just one each. So it's pretty limited. Um, and you pay 25 euros for these. And I've, I've seen people open up some really good cards like an Unlimited Crusade. I saw uh, Howling Mines. I saw um, Abu Jafar. So I saw some really good openings. So I'm really looking forward to open mine. And of course I want to do it with you, you know, and see if we can get some, some value. Can we get our 25 euros back? Yes or no? We're about to find out. By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Okay, so I'm gonna crack the pack. Um, I'm actually hoping for some Arabian Nights. It's probably not realistic, but a Surrender a Freak would be super cool. Surrender Jin, um, just a lot of cool cards in Arabian Nights, right? Anyway, Juzam Jin, of course. I mean, I don't think there are cards of that price level in here, to be honest, but still, it would be really nice to open up. Even a Crusade Unlimited would be really sweet, by the way. So let's go. Um, Crackety, crackety, crackety. Okay, so we've got this. This is the basic forest, obviously. The rares of the pack, I believe, are at the back, if I'm not mistaken. Just making sure that you can see it well enough. Let's get this one to the background. So we've got pretty beat up unlimited forest. We've got a battering ram from Antiquities. We've got a, let's do a slow roll. So one, one. This is a Drudge Skeleton Unlimited. We've got a Word of Binding from uh, Legends, or no, from the Dark. It's so hard to see that, that symbol, but of course it's the Dark. And yeah, Deep Water. I wish Deep Water was like only one blue. At least it would be a little bit more playable. I do love the art though. Then we've got Phyrexian Gremlins. Talking about cool art. Look at those Gremlins. They're so cool. They're quite nice to use in um, combination with Winter Orb and Howling Mine. Then we've got, okay, this is a revised card. This is Gloom. Pretty good condition Gloom, by the way. Well, it's got a little ding here, but for old school cards, pretty good. We've got Shelkin Brownie. Let me know in the comments if you still know this card, Shelkin Brownie. Remove the bands with other ability from target creature until end of turn. It's so useful. Um, then we've got Active Volcano. We're getting closer to the rares, by the way. We've got Spirit Shackle. Quite nice with like an icy. Uh, ooh, the grizzly bear, classic from uh, Jeff Mangus. Two, two for two, the bear. Oh, here we go. So Torvauki. This card has some value, I believe. So it's a legend. So you can tap it and deals two damage to target attacking or blocking creature. This card, if you have it on the board, is quite annoying. Uh, the problem, of course, is the casting cost. Casting cost of five is pretty steep. Ooh, a Black Knight. That is really sweet. Nice, a Black Knight Unlimited. I love the flavor text. Battle doesn't need a purpose. The battle is its own purpose. Do you want to ask why a plague spreads or a field burns? Don't ask why I fight. Ooh. And then you see that castle, which is, I think you also see that same castle in Swords to Plowshares. And they're both the same artists. It's both made by Jeff Mangus. Pretty interesting, right? Also because you cannot sort a Black Knight because it's got protection from white. And then we have, okay, Anson Maddox, 1994. Uh, oh, this is a Bloodlust, right? Yeah, Bloodlust, pretty good card. And what else do we have? Anson Maddox, it's a one, two. Destroy, oh, this is um, Spine. What's it called again? Yeah, Spinal Villain from Legends. Yeah, I think this card also has some value. So yeah, pretty nice pack. Yeah, this is my second Spinal Villain. For some reason, I already had a Spinal Villain. I think because of the of the art. I mean, look at this art. It's so gruesome. Look at it. Just a huge bug or something. Oh, man. This card is really good against pretty much every deck I play with, right? Because I mainly play blue. But, wow, Spinal Villain. Anyway, this is the booster pack. So, you can see it here. 
Well, can you actually? Let me check it out. Um, but the good news is I have more openings uh, because people open their booster packs on stream. And uh, you know what? Let's just take a look at them, shall we? I think I've got like four or five packs. So let's have a look at those booster openings. Okay, and here we see the first booster opened uh, on the stream. That's me, by the way, also dropping some cards, giving them to Yoop. Yoop is my brother. He's still opening uh, this first pack. So let's see what he gets. Yeah, putting those cards away. I'll uh, try to add the prices, by the way. The prices are based on cardmarket.com. So I've looked up the prices for you and I will show them on the screen. So here we've got a basic planes. I think every booster pack starts with a basic land. Let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, that's an Antiquities card, Staff of Zegan, I think. This is also Antiquities, Artifact Possession. This is a Marsh Goblin from the Dark. This is a revised Library of Lang. Then we've got a Goblin, and we've got a oh, card from Legends, Regrow from Revised as well, Enchanted Being. Okay, this has had some value here. A Tron Land, that's quite, uh, quite good. We've got a Cobalt, I think this is an Unlimited Scavenger Ghoul, Unlimited Wall of Swords. Oh, Abu Jafar, that has some value. And a Contract from Below Revised. And there's some Store Credit, so 20 euros Store Credit. But I think overall, this is a pretty decent pack because you've got your Abu Jafar that has some value. And you've got your store credit and just some other really nice cards. The Tron Land, of course, I think it's a power plant. Has some uh, some value too. So yeah, pretty good pack, really nice. Um, let's go to the second one, shall we? I mean, I want to see more of these. Okay, and here we have the second booster. Let's see what we get. I must say I really enjoyed it. I think it's really nice that they did this at the tournament, like offering these repacked uh, boosters. I think this is uh, Peter, by the way, opening this one. Let me know, Peter, if I'm right. And uh, yeah, we talked about the pack, right? I'm sitting opposite to him here discussing what he's hoping to, uh, to draw out of it, to find in these repacks. It's really nice because when you play old school, you don't get to open a lot of boosters. So it's just nice to have that feeling again. This is a basic Swamp Unlimited. There's a revised regrowth, an Inquisition. From the dark, it's um, it does something with white cards. Your opponent has to show their hand and then they get a damage for each white card in it. Um, yeah, this taps all the blue creatures, really cool art. There's a control magic, also revised, I believe. Again, a staff of Zegon, okay. <laughs> Card from antiquity is not worth a lot. I think this is also revised, a shatter. Then we've got, ah, oh, this is the turtle, right? Two green and one for two, four. Then we've got Cyclopean Mummy. We've got an Unlimited Terror. That's quite useful. An Unlimited, I think, or is it re revised? I think Unlimited Dark Ritual. Card from Legends. Look at this Whirling Dervish. A signed Disrupting Scepter. That's pretty cool. It's from Revised, but signed. Oh, and a Howling Mine Unlimited. Wow, that Howling Mine has some value, actually. This is a really good pack. Because you've got Dark Ritual Terror. Really good playables. Unlimited. You've got Whirling Dervish. You've got Disrupting Scepter, and then that Howling Mine Unlimited, I think it's like 45 something, 45 euros, the cheapest version. So here we see the Whirling Dervish, and here we see the Howling Mine, yeah, clearly unlimited. Really nice picks here for uh, for Pater. So this is Booster 2. Let's just continue. Let's see if we've got uh, more boosters. Okay, look at this, a double booster pack opening. Okay, so more fun, I guess. I wonder what basic land is the best, right? We saw plains, we saw forest and swamp. So far the swamp was the best. I don't even know if it indicates anything. Maybe if you know Vinland, you can let me know in the comments. You know, does it does it have a special meaning? Is it better to have like blue or white or, or green? So there is a blue for the player on the right. And yeah, let's have a look what they can pull. The player on the left, we haven't seen his basic yet. Again, I don't know if it means anything, but could be. And are they gonna are they gonna slow roll? That's the question. Yeah, they're gonna start with the first one. So there's a swamp for the player on the left, and the player on the right has an island. We haven't seen an island booster yet, so I'm curious to see that island booster. So land leeches, and again a staff of Zegon. Oh god. So many staffs of Zegon. And there's Goblins of the Flark and the Tablet, right? That Antiquities card. 
Again, a Goblin Rock Sled and a Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship is pretty playable, so we're still in the commons, right? We're going to find the uncommons and rares at the end of the pack. There's another Artifact Possession, and here we see uh, an uncommon, by the way. I think it's revised, though, Wall of Swords. And also the Paralyzed seems to be revised. That's a common, of course. And there we've got a Marsh Goblins and a Rust. Rust from Legends. So, so far, not a lot of value in this pack yet. Yeah, Erosion. That's always a card where I feel, what if it would just cost two blue instead of three blue? Maybe it could be kind of useful. Place like an Erosion on a City of Brass. Oh, and this is quite useful, that um, Dark Heart of the Wood. And also the Enchantment Alteration, but still not a lot of value here. We see Psychic Venom and uh, Pestilence. I think both Unlimited. Merfolk Assassin and uh, Battle Gear or something, right? That Antiquities card. A Leviathan on the right. On the left, we see the set Puppet Master. I think it's an uncommon, right, from Legends. Not 100% sure. Could be a common as well. Okay, there we see a Bloodlust. That's quite valuable. Ooh, and a, a Stormseeker. Stormseeker is a valuable card. Both of these cards are valuable. Brain Geyser, revised. And that's a Beta Giant Grove. Oh, ho! that's got good value here. What's the th last card of the pack? Wow, these are some good draws. There's an Elder Dragon for the player on the right, and the player on the left has a, a bottle. Uh, what's that called? Bottle of Suleiman, right? Sorry for my pronunciation, by the way, but these are really nice openings. Good packs. Remember, 25 euros each. I mean, you've got your value here for sure. It's really, really nice. And like I said, um, every contender could only buy one. So that was a very strict, uh, strict rule. But a uh, really nice... Thing to do from uh, from David and uh, from David and uh, Wijnand from uh, Power Negen. Uh, anyway, we've got I believe more pack openings for you, so let's go to the next one. And this is the last booster, and it's the golden booster. So if you won the event, you got the golden booster. And the winner is, by the way, spoiler alert, Gideon. Congratulations. And yeah, he's gonna open the golden booster. I really wonder what the rare is gonna be in this one. So it's an island pack. So maybe the island packs are the most valuable. Again, I have no idea if my theory is correct, but it's just a hunch. So he's gonna start with that basic island unlimited. And then, okay, this is reverse polarity, I think, from Antiquities, Ghost of the Damned. A Bog Imp, a 1-1, one, one. Flyer. There's a Phyrexian Gremlins, the Goblins of the Flark. And he's going quite fast. Energy tap there. Onulet. And there's another battle gear. And oh, what's this card called again from the dark? Ooh, Juggernaut Unlimited. That's kind of sweet. Wow, a beta fire elemental. That is nice. What else? Pendlehaven. Very useful. And for the rare. Oh, Mana Drain. Ho, oh, ho. That's a signed Legends Mana Drain. Wow. That is a pack. That is pretty amazing. That is quite, quite a pack. So, um, yeah, these were the booster openings that I, uh, I'm able to show you that people open up on the stream. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you feel about these uh, booster openings. Again, like I said, I'm pretty excited about it because, you know, it's, it's just a nice extra. You don't get to open boosters a lot when you play old school. So just to be able to open up a repack like this is just great fun. And also that you know that you're kind of going to get your money back. You know, uh, maybe maybe a little bit below, but usually a little bit more. So it's it's just really nice to open these. I also thought it was really a nice uh, a nice price. Anyway, this was uh, the booster openings of DadbotCon. Thank you very much for watching. Before you go, please leave a like, share this on your socials, and leave a comment. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. And talking about moving forward, you can also become a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for all the information. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Petrus, think it's a somber physique. 